All right, right now we're going to talk about the biosynthesis of amino acid based neurotransmitters dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, serotonin, histamine, and gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA. These are all neurotransmitters based on amino acids. Dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine are referred to as catecholamines. Dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin are referred to as monoamines. Norepinephrine and serotonin are commonly associated with disorders of mood. Serotonin is also called 5-HT. 5-HT stands for 5-hydroxytryptamine. Gamma aminobutyric acid is GABA. So we're going to talk about biologically active amines later on. The two most important steps in the biosynthesis of amino acid based neurotransmitters are hydroxylation. That's the addition of a hydroxide group, an oxygen group, and that's going to be done by something called a hydroxylase enzyme. And then there's going to be decarboxylation, the removal of a carboxylic acid, the same acid that's on an amino acid, the biologic acid, the carboxylic acid. And so that's going to be done by decarboxylase. So here's the generic structure of any amino acid. There's our amino group. There's our carboxylic acid group. And there's the variable or side chain group. If you look at the neurotransmitters that are synthesized from amino acids, one of the steps will be a hydroxylase enzyme that puts a hydroxide group on the end of the variable group. And that's the hydroxide group right here. That OH group is a hydroxide. Here's our amino acid again. And here we're going to remove the carboxylic acid using an enzyme called decarboxylase. And the decarboxylase removes the carboxylic acid group. And instead of having an amino acid, now we just have an amine.